ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lusaka Music Club in the greatest city on earth, Lusaka. This is Fist of Valor! Fighting out of the red corner, all the way from South Africa, MMA SA, Giancarlo Torino! So Giancarlo coming from South Africa is a well-rounded fighter with uh, a 2-1 record. He's won two fights and lost one. He's coming off a win just this uh, uh, last week at uh, South Africa National Championships. So he's coming from a win and, uh, you know, he will be looking to get another one. Initially, um, Aleisha Lukungu of Zambia was scheduled to fight uh, Krishna uh, Gugadu, uh, in the fifth international bout on the card. Unfortunately, uh, Gugadu was uh, uh, involved in an accident and broke his rib. Quite uh, unfortunate and uh, we wish the fighter a very speedy recovery. This is a highly anticipated fight, Giancarlo Torino. Coming in off of a win himself, he has a 2 on one record, he would like to maintain his winning record. But the guy he's going up against though is something else. He is a beast. He is a beast. I don't want to mention it. So these are the big guys carving middleweights. Yeah, this, this is a big, this is a big guys fight. Fighting from the red corner from the World Fighters Club, Elisha, the boxer. And here he comes! Here he comes, the Zambian beast. Carrying a Zambian flag. You don't want to mess with this guy. You don't want to mess with this guy. <laughs> so, Elisha the boxer, Lukungu. He was scheduled to fight Christian Gongadu. Christian had to pull out. Elisha was like, I need to fight and I want to fight the African competition. They found him a new fighter, and here we are tonight. Yeah. Elisha, he doesn't care who's in front of him. He just wants to dominate. Yeah. He says he has no time for going to the ground. He has no time for these weird strategies. He's going to outbox you in a mixed martial arts fight. Now, he can have that type of confidence because much like Francis Ngannou, those fists are more than just fists of valor. Those are fists of fury. And he has damaged both of his opponents before this fight. This is gonna be his stiffest test. But he really feels that he's up for it. So after, his, uh, after tearing his way through Chewe Belembe at uh, the Zambia National Amateur League 1, he then went and down power for power with Greg Maluma. Winning himself a KO of the night at uh, Zambia National Amateur League 2 in a devastating fashion. So of course, we'll be looking forward to see what uh, Alaysia can do again tonight up Ready, against uh, this South African Ready. 
tighter. Fight, you ready? So a quick tale of the tape, Giancarlo Torina representing Team MMA South Africa. His record is 2-1. on one. He weighed in at 83 kgs. He's 22 years old. Elisha the Boxer Lukungu representing Wild Fighters Club. He has a 2 and door record. He weighed in at 80.4, 22 years old as well. Both middleweights. Elisha is a bit, uh, is a bit lighter than Giancarlo. He does have the more imposing figure. Why well, you don't do that with Elisha? But as you can he see, Giancarlo is up for it though. He's up for it. There nice you one. go. It takes him there down. There you go. Takes him down and gets side position. So Elisha's in for fight and someone's bleeding. Was there a clash of heads there? Someone's bleeding quite profusely actually. I think that was a clash of heads. Yeah, it might have been a clash yeah. of heads. And the ref may have to look into that actually. I wonder whether Freddy's seen that. But that was so quick, eh? That was a good takedown. Good takedown by Giancarlo. Yeah. I hope he wasn't hurt in the, in the clash. because be, It's so upsetting when a guy is doing well and then like a clash of heads affects the fight. Yeah. I mean, we, we, I know we want to see blood, but we want to see it the yeah, right we way. Yeah, we want to see where the fight has, you know. <laughs> we want to see it the right way. Reach that level. But, but Giancarlo is started. definitely looking to take it to the ground because if he studied any... Oh, uh, goodness me. Who's bleeding? I can't really see. I think it's Giancarlo. Eh? Yeah, it's Giancarlo. I think it did not land well. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Because I don't think there was an actual hit. Very, very unfortunate. You see, the crowd has become... They've become that type of crowd now. Now they're, now they're spoiled. They want to see Elisha on the, on, the, on, the, on the feet. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely Giancarlo. And it must have been a clash of heads because there was yeah, definitely was nothing. And that's a bad cut, man. Yeah, that's so bad. unfortunate. I think the referee has to it's stop this. It's a bad cut. Maybe have him cleaned up. Uh, two minutes into the first round. Giancarlo is cut, but we're going to have to see a replay because I'm quite sure that was a cut caused by a clash of heads, yeah, which is a little unfortunate because I don't think the ref saw that either. Heads. Because the ref would have stopped it to allow him to get some attention. But if the ref is under the impression that it was a, a cut from a, from a punch, then it's not his fault that he hasn't stopped it. But we'll see during the, during the, inter, during the middle, the intermediary of the rounds, please. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to watch and give you guys medical analysis at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but he definitely has to like look into it. And yeah, 15 seconds in the fight. You see, Elisha is so strong. Even when he's on the ground, his up punches are quite effective. Which Giancarlo was just told, just reminded about. Giancarlo never really got to use his position. But in terms of the judges, he probably has this round yeah. simply because of position and control. Elisha will be very frustrated. He doesn't like this type of fight. Yeah, so I think there was a clash of heads. They're both uh, shaking each other's hands. Oh, but Giancarlo is loving it. He goes straight to the camera and is like, give me more. Give me more, he says. But the big guys go head to head, you know. Yeah, but that cut is bad. They're going to have a hard time sealing that. They're going to have a hard time. But he's happy. You know some fighters like to get cut? Yeah. Like some fighters like to see some blood. Yeah, look. We definitely want to see the blood, but not in this way. You know what I mean? It has to come in the second round by a punch. And not just a clash of heads and somebody's bleeding. Yeah, and then they're not gonna they're, they're not gonna seal that. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's actually impossible. They won't seal that cut. It's gonna keep pouring. If our replay people could take it to the beginning of yeah. the round where they clashed heads, they and that's what we want to say. I think they clashed heads in the takedown. It was during the takedown. Yeah. When they took him down, then the land wasn't Yeah. yeah. yeah Elisha is wet. They cleaned his entire back. Eh? <laughs> Looks like he took a bath. Oh, that was a good punch. Oh, Giancarlo's like, no, hit my shoulder, bro. Elisha is throwing wildly. He has to relax. But Giancarlo has to be careful. Because if he gets caught with one of those, he's going to have a cut for real this time. If and, may and maybe he's worse. Get a second cut. We all know what Elisha can do when oh, it comes yeah. to, to punching. Yeah, he gives you worse than cuts. Yeah. And you see, that's the crazy thing about this 
about mixed martial arts. You know, it was a clash of heads, the guy's bleeding. It doesn't matter. Now Elisha can target that cut, yeah. you know, and it makes it very uncomfortable for Giancarlo now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fist of Valor 1 coming at you live on Diamond Media from Lusaka Music Club, courtesy of betica.co.zm. Betica.co.zm, go try your luck and see if you can make a killing. And speaking of making a killing, Elisha smells blood. There you go. That's a good looping left. Giancarlo's a tough guy. He's up for it. But he's slowed down considerably. I think he used a lot of energy in the first round. That cut might be bothering him because he's receiving too many of those blows. They're not landing square, but they're causing enough discomfort. And it's those just never fun. Cause, and it's never fun to be hit. Just, might just cause more damage if it lands on the, on, on the same cut. If any of those punches land square, Giancarlo is in a lot of trouble. But Elisha has to focus. He has to throw a few more jabs. He has to keep working on that discomfort level. That was a good takedown, a good level change there. He goes underneath Elisha's shot and goes for the level change. He had to. He had to. That was smart. Now he just needs to finish the takedown if he can. I don't know if he will this time. Yeah, the cut has tried to clot itself, but you see Elisha's going to keep it. You see, as soon yeah. as he works on it, it begins to drip again. Oh, there you go, there you go. That is not the position Giancarlo wants to be in. Oh, yeah, good takedown. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's a, nice <laughs> that's a very nice takedown. That was an Gian. excellent takedown straight into side control. That was really good. That was actually really good. I think it's a very good fight as well oh he's smart I mean, he doesn't matter about he doesn't care about the the cut that he has the bleeding and everything this he was happy going yeah strong. he really wants to see the blood 20 seconds left in the round there you go Gian going for the ground and, and he, he ends round two the way he ended round one on exactly. top. This is a tricky one to judge. This is a tricky one to Very score. Tricky. You see, uh, Giancarlo's corner has to rush yeah. to help their fighter they with that cut. They have to clean up the blood. See, you can't swing wildly like that. He could have got him that here, but nice Giancarlo move. blocked it though. Nice you see, Elisha has to enter with a couple more jabs. He wants to finish the fight quickly, but he has to fight smart as well. Gian was really on the receiving end in this round. But not not as much well. though. He Yes, he, he defended himself well. very well. But you're right, Elisha was the aggressor. Ah, Giancarlo's feeling it. Look at that face. Look at that face. Giancarlo's feeling it. He's like, is this all you got? Is this the guy they told me to come for and be scared of in Zambia? He's like, I see you. I, I see you, man. I see you. And for sure, Elisha's confidence no, no. might be rocked because no. I think this is his first time going no. to round three, isn't it? Exactly. This is the first time he's going all the way into Good luck there, Giancarlo. So third and final round in one of the bigger fights of our night. Let's see how this one pans out. Of course, Giancarlo in the black with blue trim. Sorry, with red trim. Elisha in the black with blue trim. Yeah, Elisha's breathing a bit heavy. He's a big guy, so he might tire quickly. But you know, that reserve of power that he has is a naturally gifted athlete, so he can hurt you at any time. So yeah, he's being a bit more reserved with his punches, throwing a few more jabs. He might want to try and trap Giancarlo this time. Let's see how, how well he does. Yeah, Giancarlo being aggressive. He wants to make sure he wins this fight. He probably feels he has to go for the decision victory. So in order to do that, he has to fight smart and not get caught by Elisha. Excellent high kick there from Giancarlo. That's going to make the judges happy. Good jab is by both of the fighters. Elisha is changing his stance quite a lot. He goes from southpaw to orthodox whenever he needs to. I don't know what determines that. I mean, the crowd cheered, but nothing really happened there from that low punch. But you see, Elisha is just making sure... Oh, that was a good reach. It wasn't flush, but it definitely touched the face of Giancarlo Torino there. Elisha, the boxer, Lukungu. Heavy fan favorite. Hopefully he's not going to disappoint the fans. Yeah, he has a target. It's, it's, he has a cut to work on. He hasn't managed to really work on the cut. Giancarlo has really...
put up a good fight. Giancarlo says low blow. Asking for time, no time. They touch gloves and continue. Halfway through the run, one minute 30 left. What are your thoughts, Calvin? Well, it's tightly contested. Uh, I feel like the match, uh, the fight has really been, has been ruined by the cut, the earlier cut in the first round. No, Giancarlo's done okay though. But, been, yeah, but yeah. it's brilliant to He's see done how okay. Giancarlo has just, I mean, Giancarlo has come out of that. It looks even the match, in my view, I feel like it's 50-50. What's he complaining Anybody about? Anybody can take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up in the air. It just depends on how the judges feel. I think Giancarlo has shown more aggression, more offense. That should count to the judges' scorecards, but every judge sees a fight differently. Technically, he's been, he's been the good fighter. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. He's fought, he's fought the smarter fight. He's, he's, got, a, he's got his techniques. He's avoided the power of good. Elisha. He hasn't really been hurt. I don't know how they're going to score that cut. If, they, if a judge thinks that cut came from damage... Oh! There you go! There you go! That's exactly what was always going to happen! But look at how Dan, uh, Gian Carlos came out of that. Yeah, but that was a knockdown. That's going to score heavy on the judges' cards. And Elisha managed to get out of the takedown. Elisha can really go for the ending here. Ten seconds left in the fight. Giancarlo's like, no, there's only 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. They're saying, the let's fight. keep it going. I don't care about the mouthpiece. He doesn't care about the mouthpiece. He's saying, let's finish this. It's going to be a tricky one for and the, the judges to score. Wild. It's all over. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Peace for Father. Live in the Santa Zambia. We've seen one of the best fights that we've seen for the night. Wow. That was a, you see, that is the thing with Elisha Lukunga. You never know, you're never safe. Even if you've been winning the entire fight, it only takes one hit and you're in trouble. Never rule him out, bro. He was yeah. actually, Giancarlo was actually lucky it happened so late. It could have been worse. Look at that. That was the punch. Bro. What a beast. <laughs> That was actually a good, very good leg kick. You see, Giancarlo fought the smarter fight, but the pure power of Elisha was, it's, it's so, it's so explosive. Exactly. You, you never know what's going to happen. That could definitely And look at them, look at them and end the fight. They're like, you want to go again? You want some more? <laughs> I can go for more. Look at that cut. Blood is streaming down his face. And I think it's going to be one of those situations where because of the look exactly. on Giancarlo's face, he yeah. might lose because he looks more damaged. Look at him. He's like, I ain't scared of you. Like I can I, go again if you I want. Am, I am scared <laughs> I'm not scared of you. I think bro. they respect each other. Both fighters have ended this fight with newfound respect. I don't, I don't think it's a friendly talk there. It's not a friendly talk. It's a type of talk between two friendly fighters. It's like, I respect you, but I'll whoop your ass. <laughs> I feel like maybe he's asking for a rematch. Yeah, like, most ca likely. Come down to SA. Most likely, yeah. Yeah, most likely. Because definitely he's not going to be satisfied. He if he loses this one, and he, and, because of And he fight. most likely will yeah. lose, yeah. Because to be fair, depending on how the judges scored this, it might be a draw. Look at that! Heavy punch. I don't know why he wasted time watching him fall. He thought it was he over. Have followed him. He thought it was over. But let's hear from the buzzer. Exactly what we got. There's blood everywhere in the ring. This gentleman gave it everything. Make some noise for Elisha and Giancarlo! When we talk about Showtime Entertainment at Mixed Martial Arts Zambia, this is exactly what it is. Now, this 
was a very difficult fight. The first judge gave it a draw. Oh, no! Oh. And the fight went the distance all the way in the third round. And the winner, by split decision, representing Zambia, Yay! from the World Fighters Club, Elisha Lukungu, the boxer! <laughs> now, um, by all means, that was a tough fight. And I'm going to I'm gonna need to speak to both fighters. Now, Giancarlo Torino, representing South Africa. You know, that was, that was about as tough a fight we've seen tonight. You gave it everything. You can see your blood all over the, all over the mat, but you didn't give up and went the distance. What do you have to say to the people of Zambia? Oh man, I'd love to come back another day. I love this place. This is fucking amazing. I love this. And like with all good fighters and all good fights, this is but the first of many. We've seen so many, so many back and forths, and this is definitely looking like the making of history. What do you have to say for the next time you enter the cage in Zambia? Oh, I'm just gonna win. Simple. All right. Let's hear it for Giancarlo Torino. And now, of course, for the man who has the flag on his shoulders, Zambia. 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 All right. Uh huh. The man of the hour. Mr. Alicia, the boxer of the Congo, what do you have to say to the people out there, the fans, the sponsors, and everyone who showed up for the fight? First of all, I want to say thank you to my mama, even though I didn't train so hard. But my mama told me, never go behind, never back down, just move forward. And then the secondly, I want to say thank you to all my supporters for showing up and for giving me support and love. I really love you. I'll never disappoint you. I always put Zambia on top. Number one, Zambia. Zambia. And then, thirdly, I want to say thank you to my team for their support. And uh, I really appreciate very much to Mr. Philemon and the whole squad of WFC for giving me support and love that they have showed me by the day of today and all these years I've been with them. I said thank you and then to my friend there, I promised him that I'll get this fight no matter what happened, I'll be the best. I didn't train hard, but I came out the best. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these valiant fighters representing Zambia and South Africa at Fist of Valor! I've been your host, Kempson the Buzzer Flint. This has been a Showtime Entertainment presentation live on Diamond TV from Lusaka Music Club. Good night and good luck.